Hi there, Lee Griggs, our Lord Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to go through a use case for the flake shader. So the flake shader creates a flake normal map that can be used for materials such as car paint. It can also be used for plastics, ceramics, and glass materials. And in this case, we're going to go through a makeup example here. There's also this written tutorial if you want to follow along that's available for all the plugins and some scene files if you get stuck. Okay, so we've got our scene file here. I'm just going to start off by assigning a new standard surface material to it. Just call that makeup. And then I've got a, a specular color map that I want to use for the makeup. So I'm going to connect that to the specular color. I'm going to do it through a color correct so that I can adjust and fine tune the, uh, the texture map. So that's color correct going into the specular color and the color texture map going into the input of the color correct. And then I'm just going to produce the diffuse weight so just, just focus on the specular and then increase the exposure a bit on the color correct so we get, get more vibrant colors. And then I'm just going to adjust the translation of the texture to get a better result. So that's the specular color. Now we just need to focus on the flakes. It's clearly a flake, a flake shader. Now you probably might think, oh, okay, I'll just drag the flake shader onto the bump mapping and that, that should work, but that's not how it works. So, and again, you might try and drag flake shade onto the surface, choose normal camera. Unfortunately, Mara keeps creating this bump 2D, which is not what we want. So what we need to do is connect the out color directly to the normal camera like so, and that will give us what we want. However, the flakes are rather on the large size, so we can scale those down. So change the scale, reduce the scale to something like 0 0.002. We're getting there, but the flakes kind of evenly spaced out. We can increase the density to get more flakes. Now we want to focus the flakes around the specular highlights. The way to do that is via attribute called normal randomize. It blends between the smooth surface normal and the random flake. So low values, you can see the flakes are centered around the specular highlights. And I'll with higher values, the flakes are more evenly distributed around the specular highlight. So let's try, if we go up one, you see it's, it gets even worse, so we need to go lower. So let's try something like point 0.2. That's pretty much there. So that's makeup. If you wanted to recreate something like a mobile phone plastic flake effect, you would increase the coat weight. And the roughness, and you see now we're getting getting a coat layer on top of the flakes. So the flakes are sitting underneath the coat layer, but that's for plastics as well. We don't want that. Okay, so that's an introduction to the flake shader. Thanks for watching. Bye.